Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be testing out 4UR Gear 11 in PvE. So I've built an attack and crit damage set. So we got four attack, two crit damage, all attack rolls. Uh, we got all the attack cosmetics, everything upgraded now. Uh, and we're going to test that uh, against the Extreme Red Demon, the Extreme Grey Demon, and also the Hell version of the Red Demon as well. Um, so yeah, the team that we got, we got Eleven, we got Hellbrim, we got Gotha, we got Death Pierce, we got Attack Food, and also also got my free to play account here as well uh, so we got guild thunder and also merlin for the freeze so this is like absolute max damage potential here uh we're kind of funneling like everything to support 11 uh but again this should be very interesting in terms of the amount of numbers that we can generate here because 11 is kind of almost like a blue version of sario like, she pretty much is, man. The cleave card is a little bit different, uh, but the power strike card, the single target one, is the same. And in comparison, the ultimate, damage-wise, is a little bit lower. However, it also, like, gets everybody fully topped up as well. Uh, so at the same time, it's uh, is pretty interesting, man. So I think here, let's go for... We're just going to dump initially, and we're going to merge this. And then just on the, uh, the free-to-play, I'm going to dump as well. And then next turn, we can really get everything spiraling here. So we've got upgrade, upgrade, and then we've got Guild Thunder's gold buff, Hellrum's gold buff. So yeah, we're, we're going to be in for a good time here, man. We just need to draw as many 11 cards as we can here. Um, <laughs> so that's slightly unfortunate. We, we can still send it, though. Or we could, like, wait another turn. Mm. I, I think we're going to... I think we're going to start sending it, man. Let's go for it. Okay, so let's uh, chuck that one off. And then let's go for um, another upgrade over here. And then let's go for the gold over here. This. And then I've got a golden freeze. And I think we'll chuck off the uh, the cleave card here. We'll save the, uh, the single target for uh, a little bit longer, I think. But yeah, dude, this is going to give us some uh, hopefully quite nice damage. And also the interesting thing is, again, the less targets there are, the more her cleave card deals to a... Uh, less targets <laughs> uh so yeah it gets minus 12 percent damage per target so one target bro that is 1.7 million into the freeze there okay that's a lot of damage output so yeah that was that was really really good but again that is not the big damage card boys we we still got that one to come hmm Unfortunately, I don't have any way to uh, rush her ulti here. But I think we'll just, like, try this card without the freeze. Um, and let's let's get some upgrades flowing as well. So let's upgrade. Um, upgrade again. I think we just one-shot this phase here. And then let's go for uh, this as well. But yeah, we're just dumping cards, really. And then we've got two more 11 gold cards here. So we'll see it, like, without the freeze. But let's check out the damage here, man. Okay, nice, uh, nice 1.3. <laughs> Dude, that was without the freeze as well. So, we get freaking golden freeze, man. That damage is going to be absolutely nuts. I was thinking about this earlier, but I think 11, uh, if Final Boss Escanor were to come back, again, she's essentially like a blue version of Sariel, so she'd have advantage in that fight. I think she'd be crazy for that fight. I wish, like, Final Boss Escanor was active at the moment, just so we could test out 11 on that encounter. Because, again, Sariel, for a lot of people, was the, um... Uh, the clearing MVP if you didn't have mono. But I think 11 would be uh, even better than Sariel, dude. Uh, so yeah, casual <laughs> 2.6 million there. Uh, but yeah, fully buffed up with the right support, man. 11 just hits like a truck, dude. She's got so much damage output. But anyway, let's move over and try the extreme version of the Grey Demon. Alright, so now we're going to try her as the main damage dealer versus the extreme version of the Grey Demon. So unfortunately, because she's a blue unit, again, we can't bring her to Hell difficulty on this one. But again, we're going to go back to the Red Demon and test her out on Hell difficulty there as well. Because uh, yeah, extreme with the freezes, man, it's just very cheesy. But it's also like, it's nice to see for the big numbers as well, man. I thoroughly enjoy it. Let's have a bit of a look here. Okay, so again, we don't have freezes on this one, but we still have like Gil Thunder and Hellbrum. So even without the freezes, man, or the Red Demon, we're hitting like a friggin' truck, dude. Okay, nice. You've actually got a fantastic um, opening hand uh, on the free to play. I think I'm actually just going to send it down the middle here. 
maximize my draw if I can. Because I've, I've got the merged upgrade on my free-to-play. But uh, next turn, then we can just, like, start lighting everything up. And maybe go for, um... Yeah, hopefully we can draw, like, another single target 11 card. Because one thing about uh, the Grey Demon... Oh my god, that's magical. Is this man has, like, resistance for days. So yeah, the Power Strike card, especially on Lolly Merlin, hits him like a friggin' truck, dude. Just, like, melts him. So yeah, let's go for uh, the upgrade there. Upgrade here as well. Chuck off this. Chuck off this. And let's uh, let's go for the wagon. Oh, man, I should have chucked off the wagon the other side. It's fine anyway. I think um, we're going to be in a position. Well, the wagon card, I think it's going to close the one shot here. <laughs> I hope it one shots. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go. Let's see it, man. Let's see that one shot there. Okay, nice. 1.1 million, dude. That's pretty good, man. That is pretty damn good. Yeah, that, that certainly works out very nicely. And then, uh, yeah, God, that's that's a pretty easy one shot on the uh, the final phase. Then we'll try like, the other card as well, just kind of mix that in, because <laughs> yeah, we know we know that one's uh, one shot. Maybe try a bronze here, man, for a little bit of fun, and then we'll uh, we'll finish with a gold if uh, absolutely required and needed. But we'll just um, yeah, dump those. Okay, let's let's check the wave card here. Okay, the wave card, dude, is still six hundred thousand damage. Oh my god! Even without freeze, dude, and just like uh, you know, standard deathmatch damage support. Yeah, she's hitting like a truck, boys. That is that is very very impressive. But anyway, let's take her into the hell version of the red demon. All right, now the time has come for the big boy test. We're going to be taking Eleven into the Hell version of the Red Demon. Uh, so we got Eastern support from the free-to-play account. We got Halloween Elaine on the main account. Uh, we got the One Escanor and Eleven as well. So again, we're going to be seeing these characters side by side to see how they perform. I still think the One is, is going to be doing like generally a little bit better, just because his passive does ramp him up a fair bit. Uh, but at the same time, man, I don't expect Eleven to be too far behind here. Uh, so yeah, let's have a little bit of a look. So I think we'll go for opening play. Let's go for both of the buffs again. Unfortunately on Hell, we don't have the rank ups here. And let's go for... Uh, I think we'll test out double 11 cards phase one. Because again, it's quite a nice merger there. And we'll just send like both of the Escanor cards as well. And hopefully we can just... Um, what is it? Even with my free-to-play account, man. Just one turn phase one. That'd be amazing. Oh my... Okay, dude. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, <laughs> yes, wow, okay, that was really good, um, yeah, no upgrades needed, man, we chillin', we chillin', yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty fantastic, man, that's awesome, okay, um, hmm, I think we can get, like, the, the three-turn KO here, probably, if I, I just need to, like, merge the Escanor cards, and then I can send them, and then I can all... So yeah, I think that's like my best play to uh, go for a speed kill here. But like 11 just one-shotting that uh, first phase just opens up like a massive play then for Escanor. So yeah, that's that's pretty nuts, dude. That is pretty nuts. That was a really good synergy. Again, she's she's kind of like not far off Escanor's level of damage output. And Escanor is just broken, dude. He's just absolutely crazy. So yeah, so for a character to be there, man, I don't know, it's, uh, it's pretty good in my books. Alright, let's fire this off, go for an 11 smash, just for a bit of fun, and then we'll chuck off Escanor Zol. And we're pretty much done at this point. So yeah, three turn KO. I think we actually might run um uh, another Red Hell Demon, because <laughs> yeah, I just want to see how uh, the RNG is on like a slightly different run, man. See if we can draw some more 11 cards as well. Um, but yeah, that was an easy three-turn KO, bro. Not even sweating with my free-to-play account there. And if we had, like, double 11 as well, uh, then yeah, that would just be so consistently, like, one-turn KO every single phase. So I, I like that a lot. Uh, but anyway, let's go for another run. All right, so we're going for another run on Hell Difficulty, man. That first one was just absolutely wild there. Um, but yeah, she kind of looks like the number two damage dealer, I think, for the Red Demon. Because, again, she doesn't have, like, the stupidly overpowered, so much overkill ultimate of the one Escanor. But she's, uh, she's got the source, bro. She definitely has uh, a lot of source. Um, right, let's go for this. I think... 
Both of these cards should sort out. I think we'll do like another Escanor card for a little bit of safety. And I'm just going to uh, move around. But let's see if we uh, get the crits here as well, man. We do have uh, Blue Jericho on the sub. So again, we got a bit more crit chance. Oh, unfortunately, we didn't get the crit on that, man. It's a little bit unlucky there. Okay, Escanor still clutched it back. So yeah, maybe we just got super lucky on the crits first time around. Or maybe we just got very unlucky there, because she actually does have a stupidly high crit chance. Uh, I think it's like 81, um, 82%. Uh, so yeah, here we can just like merge the Escanor cards, and then chuck this off, chuck this off, we're back at ult again. <laughs> and then yeah, Escanor finishes off like really, really nicely. So yeah, Escanor's like still the GOAT for um, uh, Red Hell, because he's got like so much carry potential. But 11, you know, she's not a bad damage dealer for this fight, man. And there we go, we just slap in, and it's just, it's done at this point, man. So yeah, we can fire off the cards in the last phase. See if we can get, you know, a nice, uh, nice power strike card into this man. But it's also like a little bit difficult sometimes to crit him in the final phase. Um, right, let's go for this. Actually, should we, should we try like testing out the 11 cards a bit more? Let's see if we can go for like her ult in this fight, actually. I'm just going to like shield up for now and just... um. Uh, move this around. So yeah, I've, you know what? We could just use like Escanor's ult to end it, but I want to see 11 Zolti damage in this final phase. My 11 is now, she's now 6 out of 6. If this man survives, okay, 200k. Again, 200k non-crit, bro. That's still like so much damage output. It's pretty absurd. Um, and then we've got the Psychic Wave card. And then her ult, and then we can go the one Escanor's ult for a bit of safety. I think her ult should be enough, though. But actually, he does have his, uh, I think, reduction stance up now. But yeah, we've got, like, we got, like, two Escanor ults, dude. <laughs> so yeah, we, we're kind of chilling. Like, we got so much overkill. Between these two, there's, like, damage for days, man. Let's fire this off. See how much damage it deals in stance again. Does have his stance active at the moment. But 300k, again, not bad, bro. See a massive heal on everybody there. Her ultimate, in terms of the utility of it as well, is kind of like Tarmiel's. Tarmiel's at the um, uh, right point can just be like such a mad clutch because it get, gets like everybody fully topped up. So yeah, I think when uh, like Final Boss Escanor comes back, maybe the legendary difficulty, I have a feeling that she could be really, really good for that fight. But also like depends what other blue units come out. Uh, but I think regardless, I've, I've got high hopes that she's going to be awesome for that fight in the future. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty impressed with 11 so far today, man. Uh, I think out of all of the collaboration characters, at least in my opinion, um... Uh, so far, she is the uh, the best of the four. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you did enjoy today's PvE showcase, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now, or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.